Good evening and welcome to St Andrew's Horton Scone Night Prayer on the 26th of December. You're most welcome here. I'm going to be using the Night Prayer booklet mainly, um, but then a, a, there will be maybe a verse or two from the Church of England um, website prayer of, of the Night Prayer for today. I'm just going to pop, turn the volume just a little bit down on my... Oh, my music, thank you. So we'll start with our usual um, opening sentences. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we'll just pause for a moment and reflect on um, the day that we've had today. So we'll say a short confession. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. So we'll say together the glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. So we're going to actually start our readings with two chronicles. It's two chronicles, chapter 24, verses um, 20 to 22. Then the Spirit of God came on Zechariah, son of Jeho Jehoiada, the priest. He stood before the people and said, This is what God says. Why do you dis disobey the Lord's commands? You will not prosper, because you have forsaken the Lord. He has forsaken you. But they plotted against him, and by order of the king, they stoned him to death in the courtyard of the Lord's temple. King Joash did not remember the kindness Zechariah's father, Jehoiada, had shown him, but killed his son, who said as he lay dying, May the Lord see this and call you to account. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we will next read our psalm reading. Psalm 119, and then it may take some searching for, it's verses 161 to 168. So Psalm 119. And then starting to read at verse 161. Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart trembles at your word. I rejoice in your promise, like one who finds great spoil. I hate and detest falsehood. 
but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous laws. Great, great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. I wait for your salvation, Lord, and I follow your commands. I obey your statutes, for I love them greatly. I obey your precepts and your statutes, for all my ways are known to you. So we say together again, the glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So we've moved from the, the times of um, the Old Testament um, and, and prior to that in the Psalms. Um, we're just going to move now into our New Testament area. And so we're going to read Matthew 10. And it's Matthew 10, verses 17 to 22. Verse 17. Be on your guard. You'll be handed over to the local councils and be flogged in the synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say, for it will not be you speaking but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by everyone because of me, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we've heard in, um, in Matthew 10, um, the words of Jesus. And um, next we're going to move into Acts 7. And here um, it, today obviously is a um, feast of St. Stephen's. And St. Stephen um, was the first ever martyr. And he was aged 28 to 32 when he died. He died in Jerusalem. And he was one of seven who were chosen um, to look after the gifts of the people and to see that they were sent to those who were in need. And Stephen began to preach the gospel of Christ with such power as made um, everyone who heard him feel the truth. He saw that the gospel was for everyone. So let's hear the reading about since about Stephen. So we have on um, Acts 7, verses 51 to 60. You stiff-necked people, your hearts and ears are still uncircumcised. You are just like your ancestors. You always resist the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet your ancestors did not persecute? They even killed those who predicted the coming of the righteous one. And now you have betrayed and murdered him. You who have received the law that was given through the angels, but have not obeyed it. When the members of the Sanhedrin heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. 
Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So again, it, it, there's quite a bit of um, detail in there, isn't there? And um, again, um, stonings, we can, I was going to say we can't imagine it, but I'm, I'm sure that we actually um, have seen things, maybe not in a religious um, way on, um, on the television, but we have seen where a crowd can get, um, excuse me, <coughs> really agitated and irritated and have such hate um, for someone that they could um, go through with that kind of action. But obviously Stephen is remembered um, to this day, every every year um, on um, on our what we now call Boxing Day, um, on the, the Feast of Stephen. And I would imagine that most of us um, will remember it through um, the, the carols that we may hear throughout the Christmas time. So he'd been full of the Holy Spirit. He saw the glory of God. And he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. So let's move to our prayer time. And to start our prayers, I'm actually going to read a Christmas prayer for peace. Usually on a Saturday, um, that is the focus um, of our a prayer evening on a, on a Saturday evening. So this Prayer for Peace was written by Rebecca Barlow Jordan. In a world where worry, not peace, prevail, stir up that good news again. This Christmas, make it real in our hearts. Never have we needed your joy and peace more than now. Thank you for the gift of Jesus, our Emmanuel the word made flesh. Forgive us for forgetting that your love never changes, never fades, and that you never abandon the purpose for which you came to save us from our sinful condition and to give us life eternal, the joy of relationship with the Holy God, your birth and your death sealed your promise to us forever. And immediately after that, I'm going to say um, the song of Simeon. Alleluia. The word was made flesh. Alleluia. And dwelt among us. Alleluia. Alleluia. So just before we do our um, world intercessions and our more local intercessions, I'm actually going to read you Luke 2. which you will, you will probably um, remember, uh, notice and, and it will seem familiar. Um, it's verses 29 to 32. I believe I actually read this on um, Christmas Eve too. Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light from revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. I'm actually going to read um, two verses of a uh, um, of a poem that has been written by um, John Pritchard um, in his second book of Intercessions. Um, but I'm only going to read the first and the last um, verse of this Christmas um, prayer. And actually, if um, after the end of each of the verses, if you would just like to say with us, 
um, in I'll say in this season of light and, and if you were to say be light for the world in this season of gifts we celebrate your coming as the only gift we really need as we enjoy the surprises and the imagination of those who gave us presents may the child in the straw be the gift that really overwhelms us and may our giving to others flow from hearts motivated by gratitude for your glorious gift. In this season of light, be light for the world. And then the last verse of the, of the um, prayer. In this season of hope, we celebrate your coming like the dawn after a long night as we struggle with our personal darkness the issues and conflicts the temptations and confusions so may the child in the straw draw us into a large and safer space where complexity dissolves into simplicity in your light and your light shines forever in this season of light be light for the world. So let's say our more, more familiar um, intercessions. Lord, we pray that during these continued COVID times, People will be coping with the tougher COVID rules for the millions in both the UK and abroad. As we hear the news of Spain, Sweden and Switzerland confirming cases that are linked to the UK. Lord, we pray that any research that needs to be done can be done in good time. The results of that can be moved forward and that the and the COVID can be dealt with responsibly and, and but at a good pace, Lord. Lord, as we hear gale warnings of Storm Bella moving in into the UK, Lord, we pray that the storm Will, will not be so great as to cause difficulties to many. But we pray that those that are affected, Lord, will receive the help that they need quickly and sensitively. Again, we ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, we hear a further reveal we hear of the explosion in Nashville and we pray that those who have suffered again will receive your blessing and the support that they need from the government and from their friends and relatives, Lord, and from other cities nearby. We ask this in Jesus' name. And the last thing that I'm going to mention today is the Ugandan lake accident, Lord. We just pray that wherever possible, that everyone is kept safe. We can't imagine the, the accidents and the effect that, that they have, Lord. But we pray that there is support for those who need it. Give them the strength, Lord, to deal with the accidents and the, the, the natural disasters that we have heard of this evening.
Lord of Light, you've come to draw us out of our darkness into your glorious light. We come to you afresh this Christmas, longing for a new start and another chance. Take our Christmas celebrations, Lord, and fill them with gold and glowing hope to sustain us through this coming year. We ask this in the newborn name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God. For those who enter God, who enter God's rest, also cease from their labours, as God did from His. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest. Merciful God, we trust to your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for Rebecca, for John and John and Sue. We pray for those that are on our leaflet that we will have received um, in our email box, in our emails, and through our letter boxes. We ask for them for you to. Um, to comfort those who are hurt or injured or unwell. And we pray that your hands will be on their lives. Breathe upon us that our thoughts may echo the voice of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for those recently bereaved. We're thinking of the families of Simon Wilson. and Carol Pearson and James and any of the others of the people that we we know already or have we heard over this last few weeks Lord we pray that you'll keep the bereaved safe and protected and comforted and supported by those around them Lord And then today we're thinking particularly of Vin Salisbury, who um, is, is noted on our um, monthly rota. We pray for Vince and again we pray that you will keep him safe and protected, Lord. We pray your blessing on our local community and partic particularly today we are thinking of Corbridge Crescent and Cottage Muse. But we pray, Lord, and we think of all of our parish streets and the businesses that were within that. We pray for all of the churches in Darlington, Lord, as we come in, we're coming close to near the end of our year, as we can see on our televisions as they're beginning to review this very unusual and unprecedented year. So let's let's draw our prayers together um, by saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so we say in conclusion, In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in the safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, 
when the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. And just before we go, there's one thing I have forgotten is I've forgotten the collect that we that is um, given to us from the Church of England website. So I'll just say that briefly before we go. Um, Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his dignity, a divinity, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the love of the word made flesh enfold us, his joy fill our lives, his peace be in our hearts, and the blessing of God be with us this night and always. So take care. Um, I believe there is a service tomorrow morning. I've completely forgotten to check the details, but I'm sure there is some, something. It may be a repeat. Um, Jill, I don't know whether you could possibly put something in the comments. Um, it may be a repeat of something that we've seen over the last few days, um, but there will, I'm sure, be something on um, um, on at 10.15. So take care and God bless. And um, there should be someone here again at 7 o'clock in the evening too. Take care now. Goodbye. <laughs>